Battle seems to be brewing between St. Louis County Executive Sam Page and Missouri Governor Mike Parson. At the center of this, who gets to appoint the new county prosecutor? Now that Wesley Bell is headed to Washington, First Lord Forrest Chief Investigator Lauren Traeger breaks down the standoff. Well, it has been described as a real mess and one that could cause stress for the employees of the office and cost you the taxpayer. Some legal experts tell me it's not exactly clear who will get to pick the next prosecutor, but this battle, they say, is certainly political. It'll end up in court. I don't think anybody's going to acquiesce to anything because I think today's the state of play with politics. That's just the way that things are. Sam Alton is Wesley Bell's is, former chief of staff. He says question. someone should have hashed out Bell's replacement shortly after the primary. As opposed to having the entire office um, watch this kind of political drama play out and not know who their next boss is going to be. County Executive Sam Page, a Democrat, claims he can replace Bell with a Democrat per the county charter. But Governor Mike Parson and Attorney General Andrew Bailey say the Constitution trumps the charter and the governor can pick his choice. Parson tapped St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner's replacement when she resigned last year. But the circuit attorney is created under state law, not county charter, so it is a different animal. But when St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar resigned, that county's executive picked a Republican replacement without interference from the governor. So Alton wonders, why now? Maybe it is because it's a Democrat. I don't know. But it's certainly a question that people ought to be asking. And it's a question we are looking to answer as well. The county executive's office certainly pointing to politics. A spokesperson sent us a statement saying, quote, we are following the process that St. Charles County went through when a new prosecutor was selected there last year. The process does not change because the county executive is of a different party than the governor. Now, I did consult with a number of legal experts on this. and Most agree it will likely require some actions of the courts, and it is a situation we will continue to follow. I'm Lauren Traeger, First Alert 4 Investigates.